suerte. Verdad. First one had reacts to Alvarez's power shot. Good stiff jab from Alvarez, and he throws a hook that Hatton blocked most of. Double jab for Hatton. Good right hand to the body from Alvarez. Wings your right hand up top. That I've seen in the past. He's not a guy who comes in with mediocre hand speed and mediocre power. He has exceptional power. He made weight. He came into this fight in better condition. 47, and he only has 16 knockouts in his 47 pro fights. Well, you like that jab that Alvarez has? He, he loves it up with a hook. Love that jab. The only thing you have to wonder about about a fighter like Alvarez, if he is, they will cause him to tire more in the long run. If he doesn't get a quick knockout. Well, he threw a left and then a right hand that landed to the head of Hatton. Hatton tries to come back. Hatton just 7 of 42 overall. Hatton comes out with a double jab and a right. Alvarez is so much bigger and stronger and heavier handed, but beautiful body shot. Best shot of the fight for Alvarez so far, considering all the advantages you just laid out for Alvarez. <laughs> ooh, ooh, good left hook to the potty. Speaking of baseball metaphors, as I mentioned before, the punches sound different when Alvarez throws them. They thud differently than other fighters. Uses that hook to the body, does Alvarez. Left hand to the chin, right hand to the nose, and some blood from Hatton's nose as Hatton digs in with a couple of hooks. Counter right by Alvarez, then a short right inside from Alvarez. Oh, good left hook, right hand, left hook again. They both throw left, Alvarez is hurt more. He's just, you just playing uh, target practice with him. You know, like, the point here is to see how long Hatton can stand in front of Alvarez. How, no. Fighting rather well, I think. Right. Alvarez opens up, uses that left hook to start the sequence. Hatton rolls off the Watch ropes. Left hand from Hatton, and then Alvarez fires back. Alvarez, that he will have to change later on is that he's not afraid of getting hit. He does not run from punches at all. I mean, he tries to cover up a little bit, but... Or move from the even. Exactly. He's never really been afraid to get hit. And I noticed that in a lot of his earlier fights. Hasn't really learned respect for a punch yet. Has to improve on, I mean, immediately. Because if he becomes champ tonight, he's going to become a target right away. A lot of guys are sitting at home right now, such as Winky Wright, Praying that he wins and looks for an easier fight. One other thing, I want to point out, he's wearing that Japanese boxing glove yeah. winning. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Supposedly to protect your hands. So I don't know if to Maybe he's using those gloves for protection. Until July 18th. You talk about the recipe for a great action fighter. <laughs> he, there are going to be some classic oh, wars in his future. That yeah, hurt really left bad, hand man. to the body. Yeah, that hurt bad. You saw Hatton sort of cover up. That. Then he goes with a right hook to the body and a right cross from Alvarez. Doubles oh. up the left hand. Alvarez doubles up that left again and a right. Oh, good shot. Oh, as he proceeds to go forward with his career. Left, right to the body, right to the head from Alvarez. You got to work on that defense. Well, we know that if he's anything like his brother, that's one thing he definitely is, is game. Runs in the fight gets stopped because of that cut later on. It's a win for Alvarez. <laughs> Hatton need to do to sort of change the momentum here. Give him room like Hatton's doing, you're making a voice for yourself. If Hatton would just go at him and smother those powerful shots like that, it would be much better for him. Like that double hook he throws to the head and to the body. Although right. even then, he's so over, he's so outsized in the fight. Against Matthew Hatton. 41 and 4, 16 knockouts earlier tonight. Adrian Broner, 89-91. It was a closer fight than 99-91. This is about getting the promotional tool <laughs> that is a, a, a title belt nowadays.
and getting people excited, and they should be excited about him. He's an exciting fighter. Ten seconds. Yes, uh, come to the end of round number five on HBO's Boxing After Dark. We're coming up in 20, at 20 years old and got a chance to make history. Alvarez fought some tough guys early in his career when he was a teenager. 35 wins in a row. I don't care what nobody say. Something's good about you. Alvarez turned pro at the age of 15 as a face-first brawler and wound up a consummate boxer puncher. Do you think, Roy, that Alvarez has the tools to wind up a consummate boxer puncher? No, not at all. If you look at his attitude right now, his attitude is kill, kill, kill. But that's attitude. Do you think he has the physical attributes to do it? Uh, kill, 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 and you punch like he punches, mm -hmm. and you're built like he's right. built. But he was a technician who really? really didn't like to get hit. Really? You think that? First time I saw him, I said, here's a guy who's going to be on the top pound for pound list. Not because of his offense only, but look at this kid here. He's different because he don't care about defense. He'll be in the top five pound for pound most exciting fighters around, that's for sure. And and he certainly likes throwing those hooks to the body, does Alvarez. He's already a top five ticket seller, it seems. <laughs> Temple. Point. In California, the doctor has the right to stop the fight. And he says to himself, Hatton's taking enough. He All right, Harold. You feel the will of Alvarez just wearing and wearing and wearing a hat and water combination by Alvarez. Alvarez, in certain respects, also showing some patience here. He's just throwing caution to the wind and trying to roll, run over him, Roy. No, he's not. He's being very smart when he's going. Until that late <laughs> shot just then. Who did he take the point for? You think he's afraid of the fans? He's supposed to grab that fighter by the glove and say one point from this guy. Well, Alvarez wants to get that point back. <laughs> Vicious body shot from Alvarez on Houghton here in round seven. Listen to this crowd music. Houghton's only been stopped once in his career. Fights back and eats a right hand. Houghton comes back to the left and holds on. Looks like Hatton has weathered the storm here in round seven. Mr. Fight Hatton has been leading all night, but you can't outbox this kid because the kid punches too hard from outside. So why would you stay outside and allow him to pop you? Because the other strategy clearly doesn't. Even if it feels like the safer strategy, he's not having enough success with it. Right, because Alvarez uses that strong jab. And see that? See that? See the room is getting with that hook. wants to sucker Hatton into an exchange. He does. That's the shots he wants right there because Hatton's giving him room to throw those shots. Just sound differently. Just like that left hook to the body. I mentioned Hatton had only been stopped once in his career. It was his 16th pro fight. Ten seconds. Yes, segundo. Cuidado. Alvarez opens up at the end of the eighth. Of course, Joe Frazier and the list goes on. Let him go. Let go of his head. Hatton. If he were fighting, you know, Manny Pacquiao, Alvarez, something tells me he'd be on weight. Okay. Hey, with that said, though, Hatton has thrown 30 <laughs> punches to Alvarez's 16 in this round. Well, Alvarez is a little tired from throwing those big punches, too, I told you. Big shots take a lot out of the fight. Especially the one catching him. As he knows that will keep Hatton weak. Oh, good Ooh. shot. Good shot. That's what he's been looking for all fight, Alvarez. He wants to catch Hatton in an exchange. Oh. With Alvarez steps in with a combination. Alvarez throwing a beautiful triple left hook. Showing his grit. Alvarez's power. Good uppercut inside from Alvarez.
Let's check in with Harold Letterman through. Okay, Bob, I've got it a shutout. I mean, I keep saying to myself, if Canelo wore Reyes gloves, with the panic is out in front. Anyway, eight rounds uh, to nothing. He's done a superb job of, su of protecting that chair. He is a veteran. Five years in the game already. It's amazing. And 20 years old. Yeah, this is his 223rd round as a pro. <laughs> fighting at the level he's fighting and to already have the resume he has. Oh, oh blow. low blow by Hatton. Oh. And then Alvarez hits him off the break <laughs> and a little acting there by Hatton. Now oh, Alvarez that hurt him. Left and right. Yeah, that hurt him bad. Alvarez doesn't allow himself to get tied up this time. Uh -uh. Oh, he wants to finish off Hatton here. Now, I love how Alvarez pivots around and throws that left hook. A lot as a young fighter. Great right hand off the left. Combination from Alvarez, Hatton comes back at him. And I love the way Hatton came back at Alvarez after that beating. Hey, which, is, which is why when you get a Manny Pacquiao, you thank your lucky stars. <laughs> Very few fighters can put the whole package together. Definitely, he turned for about 15 years old and became a, a dream middleweight champ pretty early, too. Yeah, and a ramp yeah. Barkley ran over him in two rounds it, eventually. Exactly. But, but with more talent, I think, a bigger puncher. Yeah, this kid is a much yes. bigger puncher. Hanging in there and oh. trying to get his big shots off of his own. To connect with people the way he's connected. Well, he's totally different in every aspect. You know, he's not built like normal Mexican fighters. He, does, he doesn't box like a normal Mex Mexican fighter, so. Yet he gives the crowd their money's worth. That's exactly right. And he's not afraid to share punches. Oh, good body uh, shot. Good left hook to the body by Alvarez. He brings it. He's right in your face. He's definitely an action-packed figure waiting to happen in boxing. They want to see action. They want to see a guy who doesn't care about getting hit. Doesn't care. Now the drama here is I see it. Matthew Great. Hatton's championship, can he go the distance? Not just last the distance, but go the distance while fighting hard. <laughs> For sure. Oh, thumping right hands from Alvarez to the head of Hatton. What's a shot. Down a right hand from Hatton. A good hook by Hatton. See the headliner, so Alvarez, the 20 year old out of Mexico. And I tell you, I like the combination of Alvarez. Oh, good Left shot. and a right to the ear. That hurt him bad. Hurt that Hatton's hurt him. on wobbly legs. What happens when you don't hold? <laughs> I'm going to say that to the referee. Oh, Hatton's game. He's going to make it to the oh. end. <laughs> the winner by unanimous decision, Damas y Caballeros de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Saul Canelo. Cinnamon has a belt.